This is Barton Creek. This is the inspiration for the artwork I'll be talking about today. This is Barton Creek. It was completed in 2015. What I'm trying to show in this is to create a painting where there are no figures in it, but it shows how alive the scene itself is. Between the water, the trees, the rocks, the trees, sometimes when I create artwork, I try to show the trees as if you've caught them in the middle of some motion, of some dance that they're performing, and once you enter the scene, they stop. Another way to look at it is the trees are actually performing the dance so slowly that we can't perceive the movements. And that's one of the things that not only in this artwork, but in other artworks I've tried to capture. The water swirling down the creek, um, a lot of times you would, I'll notice these little swirls in the water. It reminds me of the same swirls that you would see in the galaxy or the solar system. And I think that's those little swirls in the water that you can catch from time to time kind of exemplify the larger swirls that you see in a snail shell or that you would see in a, in a tornado. Um, and that's something I try to capture in this as well. A lot of my artwork I do have swirls in. There's something about the swirl pattern, the movement of it, that I really enjoy trying to place in my artwork. In this painting there is a path that goes through the woods and in a lot of my artwork, especially the, the artwork that is more architectural or more nature based without showing people or figures in it, I always try to put some type of path going through the paintings that you can go from one part of the artwork to another, not just by scanning the artwork, but by walking through the artwork itself. There's a, there's a path there for you to walk through. And that's something that I try to place in this painting as well. A lot of times when you're out in the woods or in nature, you'll catch little glimpse of light, whether that's coming from the grass or whether it's coming from sunlight reflecting off of rocks or pebbles or flowers or trees and one of the things I try to capture in this artwork is those little bits of light that are reflecting off of different objects in nature as well as when you're able to look through the water at the rocks below um, what's really great about seeing those little rocks underneath the water a lot of times you see the slight variation of color on the rocks you can also see algae that is growing on the side of, of some rocks that are underneath the water. You kind of see that green pop through. Um, and you also see the light reflecting off of the sun and from the surroundings, the trees and the leaves, the, the bark, you see that reflecting in the water itself. I will be doing more nature-based artwork. I do have quite a number of architectural pieces, um, but I do want to also incorporate more nature-based artwork like this in the future, and it's something I'm really looking forward to. This is Barton Creek. My name is Skip Myers, and thank you for watching.